uh, James Rickert, and I'm from Bloomington, Indiana. Schomburg spine to me would mean that uh, physicians in general would be more willing to be more forthright about uh, these diseases, what can and cannot be done for them, and uh, not engage in unnecessary treatments or tests. Well, there are just so many examples in orthopedics of um, this overexpansion of disease. It used to be that we treated so many fractures conservatively with excellent results. Now any fracture that's off by a millimeter or two, someone wants to put a plate on it, and uh, no evidence whatsoever that that improves results for patients. Uh, it's almost as if you were a plastic surgeon of the spine and, or, the, or any of the body part, and it has to be just so. But again, there's no evidence that that helps anyone. I would say the most common is um, making a disease out of every little component of an arthritic knee. So part of the arthritic knee might be a torn arthritic meniscus or a degenerative meniscus. So you can trim out the meniscus and then a few years later do the replacement. But it's all part of the same disease. It leads to over, overutilization. So there's unnecessary arthroscopies done on the knee that will not benefit people. So we made our own uh, Choosing Wisely campaign that would include these sorts of things, and then we speak about it, that uh, try to harness those elements of the orthopedic community that are interested in this sort of thing to help us spread the word. Yeah, I'm a physician myself, so I try to have realistic conversations with my own patients about um, the actual disease process they have, what will and will not help them, and then um, I um, lead this group of orthopedists who are working to reduce this, this problem. Mm -hmm.